Für die, die es nicht hören wollten, die sich davor fürchteten oder es nur vorschützten, gab es dann eines Tages diese Körper zu sehen. Dieses menschliche Vieh, dieses neue Volk von Kahlgeschorenen. Wir hatten geglaubt, nie mehr solch furchtbare Blicke aushalten zu müssen. Aber sie waren wieder da, wieder in Europa. Wie konnte man angesichts dieser Bilder, angesichts dieses Entronnenen, der glaubte, Durst zu haben und den der Durst vor unseren Augen umbringt, noch an Faschismus zweifeln? Und wie reagiert die Welt? Was tut sie? Wie nehmen die Herrschenden diese Informationen auf, als sie Ende Juli 1992 zu ihnen durchdringen? Nicht zuletzt dank des amerikanischen Journalisten Roy Goodman. So, as soon as the story appeared, I sent a message by computer to my colleague Saul Friedman. He was traveling with Secretary of State James Baker in the Middle East. I said, Saul, I've now come upon the most serious story I've ever come close to. I'm convinced it's true. Would you please show this, the text of this story to, to Secretary of State Baker and ask him, if, can they please check it out? Saul did that. Nothing happened. I called up the White House. I called the spokesman for foreign affairs, the uh, spokesman for Brent Scowcroft, who is the national security advisor. I think this, this is a death camp. You might be able to, to, to confirm the facts. Nothing happened. I called the uh, head of the Foreign Relations Committee in the U.S. Congress, uh, in the House of Representatives, Lee Hamilton, I called his top aide, Chris Kojum. I said to him, this is a truly important story. Your uh, boss is not only the chairman of this committee, he's also on the Intelligence Committee. Would you please ask them to check it out in every way possible? Nothing happened. I called uh, my colleague in the Washington Bureau who covers the CIA. I said, please go to the CIA and tell them about this story. Anyway, this goes on and on. In every case, nobody responded. And the pictures caused a second wave of sensation. It was only at that point that President George Bush decided uh, that to make a public comment. And his public comment said a lot about everything, uh, that their, enti their entire attitude. His comment was that this is terrible, that there were uh, there were uh, blame on all s there was blame on all sides that there was blame enough to go around that there was a long history of enmity in uh, the former Yugoslavia and therefore this was uh, something that the United States really didn't care about. He said the Red Cross should be given access to the camps. He didn't ask for the camps to be closed down. He didn't ask for all the prisoners to be freed. What he said was, let the Red Cross in, feed them, feed them, and if they're going to be killed, have them killed or from the cameras. Noch ungeheuerlicher die Aussage von George Kenney, ein hoher Beamter im State Department, der anhand von Goodmans Informationen sofort Präsident Bush alarmierte. One point after Roy Gutman's stories came out, I prepared a report for the president, a very short note, 15 or 16 lines, and said, the Bosnian Serbs are running the most camps, they per perpetuate the, 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 the greatest abuses, and others have camps as well but really the camps are serving camps. By the time that Eagleburger's office let that note go to the president, all that it said was, everybody has camps, everybody perpetuates abuses. And I thought that was an incredible act of censorship for the State Department, because they were not even telling the president what they knew. The atmosphere within the department was uh, completely corrupted. We understood that our Our job was not to get involved. At one point, Eagleburger came back from the meeting at the White House to the State Department and said, in effect, between the lines, you are not going to get involved substantively. If you want to have diplomatic talks, if you want to uh, pretend to do something, that's fine. And we have to do that, in fact, to show that America is doing something. But by whatever we do, don't uh, take on any real responsibilities. Let the Europeans handle it. Let somebody else take the blame. But, but we will stay out of this 